All right, so let me show you how to use uh, the 7-Zip program real quick. So the first thing we have here is we've got our PowerPoint slideshow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to go to 7-Zip. I'm going to extract it. And what you can see here is it's decompressing the PowerPoint slideshow. And what's really neat about this is now it's created this uh, separate folder. So your PowerPoint file is fine. You're, you're not going to mess it up. So you can open up this folder here and then inside the PPT folder you're going to see a media folder. So we'll open up the media folder and as you can see I have all my images that I used in my e-learning course. So what this really does is it allows you when you're finished with the course it allows you to quickly create a media folder for all of the images that you have in your course. So what I can do here is and one of the things you'll notice is the images just have a generic image one, image two label. So uh, that's something you'll have to keep in mind. Uh, but if you're going to just look for your images visually, then it's easy enough to do that. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to this PPT folder. And what I would do here is I've got this media file. And I'll just say this is my FTC course. So I'm going to type in FTC um, underscore and then media. So now I've got an FTC media folder. I can cut this. So I'm going to cut this. And then I'm going to move it to my pictures folder. So in this case, I already have a pictures folder here. So I'm going to open that up. And this is my FTC course folder. And then I'm just going to paste my media file. And now I have uh, all of the images that were part of that course in one folder. And what's really neat about that is if you use a product like Picasa or the Windows Media Gallery or, or one of those things where you can quickly it scans your hard drive for images and then you can quickly uh, preview uh, your scanned images. Uh, this is a really nice way to do that. So let me just show you what that would look like. All right, and so what we have here is a Picasa file. So I'm, I happen to have Picasa on my desktop. So I've got my FTC course and here's my media folder. And then when I look inside the folder, I can quickly scan and find my images. So in this case, I don't really care if my images are uh, labeled or not because I can visually see uh, the images that I would be looking for. Uh, something else that you can do is if, you know, and it depends on the application you have, for example, Picasa and then the Windows uh, version of that would also work, is you can actually add tags and, and have different ways that you can label your images uh, if you wanted to find those later. So the main point is that you can you can extract that media folder from the PowerPoint file and then all of your images are already in one folder and then you just have to move the folder around. And so that's going to really save you some time. It's a great way to manage or quickly manage your images, uh, especially at the end of your course when you want to take, uh, you can take your course and then pull the media folder out of that and then you have all of the images that you used for your course. Now I'm going to